The way books are written have changed almost as much as books themselves. Shakespeare used a quill to write Romeo and Juliet, and Jane Austen was dipping into ink for Pride and Prejudice. J.K. Rowling wrote Harry Potter the Philosopher's Stone by hand. Modern day writers are not using parchment and a quill to write their masterpieces. Technology has advanced beyond spilling ink onto paper. The first version of paper was created in China. The exact date is unknown, but it is believed to be around 105 AD. Around 600 AD, they invented woodblock printing, a process similar to stamping, and were able to produce copies of books. The papermaking process continued to spread throughout Asia during the first millennium. In the 12th century, paper reached Spain and France and spread through Europe very quickly after that. Joining a bit later, Britain established her first paper mill in 1588, and the last country in Europe to receive paper was Sweden in 1612. Writing evolved from carving on wax tablets and turtle shells, to ink-dipped feathers, to machine-crafted pens and pencils. Quills became more popular with the rise of paper. A quill is a bird feather whose tip was sharpened and dipped into ink. The Declaration of Independence was signed with a quill. That's a pretty large signature, Johnny. So Fat George in London can read it without his glasses. (laughs) The first pens were created during the 1800s. They were similar to quills and still needed to be dipped in ink, but sharpening was not necessary and they lasted longer. The first fountain pen was created in 1827, and the first ballpoint pen in 1888. Presidents have custom-made pens they use when signing new laws. Typewriters were invented in the 1870s and became used by writers of this era, as well as businessmen and regular people. Pencil companies started cropping up during the late 19th century, and by the mid-20th century, the pencil we know today had become much more common. The earliest pencils were not painted at all to show off the quality of the wood, but when companies did start painting them, they chose the color yellow. Across the ocean, in China, the color represented regalness. It is almost ironic that the color is so common nowadays. My favorite pencil is the Dixon Ticonderoga No. 2. 1906 was the year the first mechanical pencil was invented. The first felt-tipped pen, invented in Japan, followed not long after. The first marker was created in 1910, and another similar marker pen made in 1926. The earliest version of a Sharpie was created in 1944 by Walter J. DeGroft, though it was not called a Sharpie until 1964, 20 years later. In 1953, the magic marker, later bought by Crayola, was invented. The 1970s brought permanent markers and highlighters, and in 1996 dry erase markers were created. Computers were not used for writing until the late 20th century, when writing programs and computers were easier to access. Nowadays, there are common tools used by most professional writers, such as Microsoft Word and Google Docs. Writing on a computer is easier than writing on paper and includes most tools that people use on paper, such as highlighters, but many not available to pencil pushers such as spell checking, find and replace, and colorful formatting. Writing tools have changed a lot since wax tablets and turtle shells, and what we use them for has changed a lot as well. A book can take you to the past, present, future, or all three, but the way we write them is just as interesting. Ha ha ha!